Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Richard Laporte and Alainia Perez. This is a game from Grand Chess Tour, St. Louis, Rapid and Blitz Tournament 2019. Richard Laporte had white pieces and he started with knight to f3. The ready opening. Maybe. d5, g3, knight to f6, bishop to g2. E6, castling, bishop to e7, c4. The English opening. Maybe. Perez castled kingside, and now d4. The Catalan opening. D takes on c4, the open Catalan. Knight to e5, the standard move. Knight to c6, white to move, and white must choose between knight takes on c6 and bishop takes on c6. How would you continue? In the game we have bishop takes on c6. Knight takes on c6 is a bit more popular. And after b takes on c6, knight to a3. This is a popular main line. Back to our game. Bishop takes on c6. b takes on c6. Knight takes on c6. Queen to e8. Knight takes on e7 check. Queen takes knight. b3. C takes on b3, queen takes on b3, rook to d8, bishop to a3 attacking the queen, queen to e8, rook to d1. This position was seen few times in the past, and players with the black pieces always played bishop to a6, and black actually had good results with this move. In this game we have e5, a new position never seen before, except in some people's analysis. Why to move, to take or to play d5? d5 was played. If d takes on e5, one line goes like this. Bishop to e6, queen to c2, rook takes on d1, check, queen takes rook, rook to d8, queen to e1, bishop to h3, and then, if pawn takes knight, which is not recommended. If pawn takes knight, then queen to e4, threatening check, mate. If f3, then queen to d4, check, winning the rook. This is what might happen when you don't have a light squared bishop. Back to our game. We have d5, queen to d7, knight to c3, e4, d6. Black to move, to take or to play c6. c6 was played, this is better than taking. If c takes on d6, then rook takes on d6. After queen to e8, rook takes on d8, queen takes on d8, rook to d1 and white is better. Back to our game. c6, queen to a4, rook to e8, queen to a5, black to move, h6. Just in case, to avoid future back rank problems, why to move? f3 was played. If queen to c5, then queen to h3, forcing f3 and then bishop to d7. Back to our game. f3 was played. Queen to h3, dancing on the light squares. Knight takes on e4. Knight takes on e4 f takes on e4, rook takes on e4, queen to d8 check, and now you can see how h6 was a good, very good idea. King to h7, who is better? Perhaps a visual impression is that white is better, do you agree? It's actually not clear who is better. It is white to move, d7 was split, rook to d2 should have been considered, and even then Things are not easy for white. One line goes like this. Rook to e3 attacking the bishop. If white attempts to save the bishop, he loses the game. Let's see why. Bishop to c5, then. Kaboom, rook takes on g3, check. And after h takes on g3, queen takes on g3, check. White king actually doesn't like to go to f1. If king goes to h1, then queen to h3, check. The king to g1, queen to g4, check. King to f1, queen to f4, check. King to e1, bishop to h3. And 
black is winning. Let's go back a little bit. So in this position is so bishop to c5, d7. Bishop takes on d7, queen takes rook. Bishop to f5, bishop to d6, protecting g3 pawn. Bishop to e4, threatening checkmate, king to f2, with a complex game. And let's go back to our game. In this position, d7 was played, and this is a blunder. Why? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Black played the move and white resigned, and the move is bishop to a6. Richard Rapport resigned in view of discontinuation. Queen takes rook. Rook takes on e2, threatening queen to g2, checkmate, maybe. Queen takes on c6, but then queen takes on h2, check. After king to f1, black simply plays queen to f2, check. Mate. Very sharp game, wasn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.